Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Today we are reading When God Made the World. Mama, I'll be reading that yesterday to tonight. I'll be seeing that. You did? Yes. In the very beginning, before anything was, before God started doing what it is God does, when all that existed was wide open space, God imagined a universe and began to create. God hung trillions of lights, stars big and stars bright. God turned the dark sky into a glorious sight. God put planets in places with moons in some cases and galaxies that reach the outermost spaces. God made comets that fly with tails through the sky and asteroids and meteors that sometimes zoom by. And with cosmic explosions, God set space in motion, causing planets to orbit their suns with devotion. And somewhere amid all the swirling light, Inside a cluster of milky white, among stars and planets and cosmic dust, God made a place for the story of us. Cause when God made the world, God displayed heaven's glory for you and for me and for all the world's stories. I'm sorry. Quentin, can you please stop? Our planet, God made a blue and green sphere and designed it to orbit the sun once a year. God made daytime and nighttime, climates and seasons, and all kinds of weather that varies by region. God made continents and oceans, islands and seas, a north and south pole that God put in deep freeze. You got all those? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, we already read that one. God carved rivers and brooks, mountains and caves, made beaches with sand and huge crashing waves. God made tropics and plateaus, glaciers and meadows, marshes and tundras, and erupting volcanoes. When a volcano erupts, what comes out? Hot lava. Hot lava. You're so smart. Yeah, the game. God made some places high with peaks in the sky and places where snowflakes still fall in July. And in quite a few spots, God made it so hot. Should you visit, you know what? You know that you must drink a lot. God made valleys so low and geysers that blow. And under earth's surface, God put well springs that flow. What are you doing, love? Nothing. Stop doing it. What? How are we bored and we we reading the story? Then, with gardens and forests and other things green, God made earth come to life using soil and seed. God made cypress and pines, bushes and vines, all kinds of trees with leaves. God designed plants full of flavor like basil and thyme and trees that grow citrus like grapefruit and lime. Mama. Quentin? on a new race car, huh? Yeah. God made flowering plants and plants that enchant. While most you can touch, God made some that you can't. Roses, be warned, are prickly with thorns. And there's an African melon God covered in horns. And 
poison ivy's backlash giving you a rash whatever it wherever it touches your itch and your scratch but don't let that stop you run barefoot through grass pick a flower or two or a bouquet perhaps find a tree you can climb or with a seat and some twine build your very own swing or a backyard zip line can you stop I'm talking to Cairo. And when you eat grapes or pour syrup on crepes or in, in or into a forest you go to escape, give thanks to God for all that God made, for the fruit and the syrup, for the trees and the shade. Because when God made the world, God did all that God could to create every detail for our joy and our good. Mama, this is in the bed. I see. Now, what happened next is a mystery at best, but God made a bird and that bird made a nest. So God filled the sky, perhaps over time, with birds and more birds and most learned how to fly. God made bluebirds and blackbirds, big birds and small birds, a few birds quite absurd and the loudest birds you've ever heard. Crows crowed, doves cooed, chickens clucked, Owls hooed, robins chirped, pheasants whirled. The world got noisy when God made birds. Mama, what? I didn't get this on the either or cookie sneezers. You ain't gotta get that next time. Mm, so you ran out. Mom, then the oceans God filled with fish, sharks, and krill. Creatures God made with fins and with gills. Swordfish and trout, fish sleek and fish stout, and whales that God made to breathe through a spout. Mm -hmm. This is the one going over. Oh, what? God made. God made sea rays and eels, fish red, yellow, or teal, and some fish so odd that they hardly look real, like a fish that has fangs, or a monster-like face, or a fish that flies or makes its body inflate. Wow, mommy, mm. ain't no bed. I see. Mama? Mm. Where's mommy ready? I don't remember that. I do. And wherever a river, ocean, or sea touches dry land, there's likely to be all sorts of creatures living their lives on land and in water. That's how they survive. Like otters and frogs, turtles. Like otters and frogs, turtles on logs, and crocodiles gathering in swampy bogs. What's scary? Alligators. Alligators are scary? Yeah. And then God made cows, horses, and goats. And God made gibbons with inflatable throats. God planned lions to roar and tigers to pounce and kangaroos. God thought, let's make you bounce. God made bears to growl, moles to plow, and under full moons, coyotes to howl. Donkeys brayed, giraffes bleated, jaguars prayed, rhinos stampeded, bunnies hopped, beavers chopped, and in muddy pools, hippos plopped. Good thing. It's story time. We're not playing on the phone. Yes, all living creatures from whales to snails, from those covered with feathers to those covered with scales, each God designed with a home in mind to develop and evolve if needed over time. Because when God made the world, every creature on earth became a part of life's circle, having value and worth.
And God made people, people like you and me, people with souls, people with stories, a global family tree. God made us all flesh and bone, covered in skin, and made all our bodies to have hearts beating within. Please stop. God gave us bellies and legs, fingers and toes, and fashioned our faces with eyes, mouth, and a nose. God made our bodies uniquely equipped for walking and talking, to eat and to skip. God wired our brains to feel love and feel pain, to process and learn, to read and retain. But despite all we share, we're also unique. God made us all human with just a few tweaks. Was that an accident or did you do that intentionally? Intentionally. Each of our faces, bodies, and traits, our skin tones, our features, God did create. God made some people shy and some people loud and some will thrive in the midst of a crowd. Some make music and some like math and some are prone to blaze their own path. But always remember, because this much is true, God had a purpose for making you you. Are you cleaning up? Huh? Oh, I thought you was cleaning up. I'm cleaning. Oh. So use every gift, every talent or shtick. Make the world better with your God-given trick. Bring smiles to faces, show love and good graces to those who need hope in all different places. Discover a star, a planet, or moon, or help keep a forest from dying too soon. Save a well, hug a tree, protect every bee. Recycle, repurpose, reject apathy. Because all of creation whispers God's story. The mountain, the ocean, the blue morning glory, the raindrops, the sunshine, the grapes on the grapevine. With nature, God gives us a glimpse of divine. And just like a star might showcase God's light or a waterfall give us a sign of God's might, the same could be said of me and of you. How we live, how we love tells God's story too. Because when God made the world and the world started spinning, the story God wrote was just a beginning. I love it. The end when God made the world.